thanks for joining us on campus rundown here on tv ucc here to bring to you details of every event that happens in the land of university of Cape Coast. now we find ourselves at src hall uh, where we are going to take the coverage of witness the africa's idea challenge program organized by the executive council of the src of course we would be interacting with the applicants and i understand this is the training stage if today happens to be the first time that you're watching us then i would advise that you subscribe to our youtube channel and you hit on the notification bell to get updates or alerts on the uh, updates that we put on our channel my name is louise Berkman. All right, so here with me is the patron for the program. Of course, he is the father for the program. Dr. Mitterfield, he is a lecturer at School of Business, University of Cape Coast. Doc, you are welcome to TV UCC. Thank you. Doc, share with us the rationale behind this program. Well, four years ago, we started the idea challenge uh, when uh, Dennis uh, was the SRC president. Um, was basically to solicit ideas from students and then give them some form of uh, support. Uh, after the first version one, uh, I think that the subsequent SRC president uh, took it out of their program. But fortunately, this year, uh, Christopher Datsin uh, decided to bring the version two. So, version two is basically to find out some unique ideas that our students have. You know, we, we have quite a number of students and if you look around the university, you see some students run businesses, science markets, students are into yoga production, students are into bread making, students are into varied degrees of businesses. Last year, for instance, said, we took 10 students to Germany who had a magnificent business idea. Just three days ago, we got one of our students also won a business plan competition where uh, he's going to receive full sponsorship for his master. So we have students who have unique business ideas and if we want the country to go forward, probably these are some of the ideas that we need to look at how to support, how to give them the needed resources and how to give them basically some funding support. Remember, this is also in line with the uh, vision of the, uh, the vice chancellor, uh, basically to build an entrepreneurial university. And if we want to build an entrepreneurial university, basically one of the people we need to look at is student ideas. So uh, it's, it's just to solicit unique ideas where 10 of these students will be given some form of funding to run their businesses. When we started four years ago, two people, uh, the winner and then the first runner-up, they are still on campus. One brought in a fashion business, uh, Oyonkopa, who is now a law student and still doing the business. The other was Dr. Adwa Bonsu, who decided to, uh, uh, she, I think she brought in a bacteriostatic uh, business where she created some bacteriostatic materials to sew coat and scraps. And they are still around four years after, you see still their business is going strong. And, I think this is the way to go if we want to create an entrepreneurial university. So, show us, Doc, how do you keep track on the students when they are out of the school, especially uh, after going through the training? Uh, we haven't set down modalities to do that, but fortunately, we have the UCC business incubator where most of these businesses will have to be incubated. The version one, we incubated some of the businesses, and that is how come I still have records of those businesses. Uh, version two, we will have to come out with a roadmap, uh, not just a roadmap, but I think this, uh, we need to build the routes to ensure that these businesses are, are incubated and then, if possible, accelerated to see them materializing even after 10 years. If you're talking about the UCC incubator, apart from these applicants, uh, who qualify to join the incubator? Any business within and outside uh, the campus of the university. The business incubator basically was created for students, but um, we, when we started, we realized students were not coming forth with ideas and the kind of uh, things that we require. But uh, 
of late you have student businesses. I think we now have a membership close to 100. The place can only uh, physically accommodate about 9 to 10 businesses, office space businesses. Unfortunately, the way the incubator has been designed, uh, there are certain kind of businesses that we cannot incubate uh, physically. And what I mean by physically is giving them office space, giving them some uh, computers, etc. So uh, on board, we have about 10 businesses that we can uh, accommodate physically and give them the needed office space. But we have over 90 businesses that we give training and other uh, support services to. So anybody qualifies to be at the incubator. You only have to meet the criteria and then you are involved. No, that is nice. Uh, now, before you go, you have been interacting with the applicant, current applicant or the cohort. What is your impression uh, of the current applicant? Let me see that. Uh, we haven't looked at the businesses today. We okay. just did a, uh, a training for every applicant. Uh, we believe that. Uh, Applicants should be able, whether they qualify or not qualify, should have some skills that uh, they can use or feedback in their business. So either two, four years ago, we just did a selection and did training and coaching for the applicants. But uh, this year, all applicants were given training and uh, basically we're going to select the next 40 for coaching. Thank you very much, Doc, for joining us. Thank you. Lady, you are welcome to TVUCC. You're welcome. Thank you. Tell us your name and your program of study. Uh, my name is Elizabeth Achu. I study forensic science. Lizzie, what have you learned so far from the training program? Yeah, I have learned about branding and business planning. And I've learned that business planning is more like um, the architectural planning. So it's your way forward to the business, what your business entails. So written this one of what your business entails. So how do you relate that to your idea? Yeah. So I've decided that I'll then write a good business plan for my business. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. It really helps. Yeah. Of course it will help you. Yeah. Yes. I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Miriam Bosompra is ready to interact with us. Miriam, thanks for joining us on TV UCC. You're uh, Miriam, how prepared are you to face the judges? Oh, um, I would say I'm much prepared because after um, the education we've gotten, I think, um, yes, I'm in the position to face them and as well give them what I have to offer. I wish you all the best. Thank you. <laughs> Another applicant who is ready to share his experience with us. Abraham, thanks for joining us on TV UCC. Thank you, too. Uh, which program are you studying? Diagnostic Medical Sonography. Diagnostic Medical Sonography. Yes, please. And you are into entrepreneurship. Yes, please. I wish to ask you your idea, but I know it is too early to find out that. But how do you relate what you've learned today to your plan? Well, okay. I think it's a very nice opportunity for a young entrepreneur, though you might have the ideas and the capabilities of doing certain things, but when you have some trainings or some small touches to what you know already, it makes the whole thing of effort and very wonderful. Abraham, what do you have to tell people who are not into business, uh, let me say, who are not studying business related programs, but have ideas, but have kept them under the carpet? All right. As a science student, mostly our focus is uh, on either being a medical doctor, engineer, and a whole lot of things. But one thing I've personally come to recognize is that no matter how huge your salary may be, if you don't have other sources of income, then trust me, you're going to be a poor person. So having other sources of income through businesses and other means will make you financially stable. Get other sources of fund to your salary as a scientist, right? Sure. Thank you very much, Abraham, for joining us. Right. Thank you, too. Mr. Thomas Kwame Nemo is the manager for the entire program. Uh, Kwame, you are welcome to TV UCC. Thank you. Kwame, you've been part of this since 2017. What have been the changes so far since 2017? Well, um, thank you very much uh, for this opportunity, by the way. Um, 
So Africa's Biggest Idea Challenge is um, an idea challenge, obviously, which was conceived out of like selfless leadership. So you find leaders that would come up and then bring up ideas on, you know, how they would want the ISRC to be run and all that. But um, on this edition and the previous one, what is like in, of, of that edition is that you've had um, leaders that come up and want other people to enjoy the benefits of the SRC, which is you know, promoting their business ideologies and whatnot. This year's edition is seen as bring all entrepreneurs on board, so then you'd have like a, a, a panel that would sort of help people to sort of bring up the ideas. So it would form a, a panel of a lot of entrepreneurs in and around campus and then you know outside as well and um, people we are inviting on board ministers people that would um sort of help the business ideas even if they don't eventually win the ten thousand Ghana cities and that's what's so different from last year because then last year last four years the prize was just the ten thousand Ghana cities this year the prizes all the people that would come up and then see your business idea and sort of like fish into those ideologies added to that 10,000 Ghana cities. Talking about the membership of the panel, how do you recruit people to join the panel? Well, so we've got two people from academia who are um, Dr. Um, Omati Fio and then Dr. Karen, and then we're also um, currently outsourcing people who we think are business savvy. So you've got people like Casa de Europa, all these people are, are, consider, are in consideration and contention to be part of the panel eventually. Uh, you see, this is a word that currently, uh, let me say Africa to be precise, we have people with a lot of ideas, but how to come up with the idea, to communicate the idea for people to believe in is an issue. Apart from students, do you have plans for people who are out there who have ideas? Currently, at this stage of, of this tournament, I think we, we're focusing on students. It's the, the formation of the Africa we want to see in the future. And so hopefully other um, entrepreneurs would come on board and probably create a grand um, idea challenge so that it can host all other entrepreneurs as well. But like it's for me to be we hope that we can start in an area we can control an area that can we can see the businesses flourish and the continuity and feasibility of those businesses so then that's why we're currently focusing on campus but subsequently i mean we're bringing sponsors on board we're bringing everybody on board investors you know, everybody so then if eventually we see this as an idea we can promote we will, we will build on it manager before you go going forward what should we expect from your team 2.0 <laughs> it's, it's it's the second edition of it we saw the mistakes we did in the first one we saw the progress we made and the testimonies tell i mean the, our first the one the one that won before this one um you know he's, he's still um working he's still using the ten thousand Ghana cities um second runner up first runner up has been winning tournaments ever since in from Germany and stuff like that and you know when they meet you the conversations they have with you the testimonies they have it, it just changes you on to want to do and improve this the more so I mean I have a very good team I'm working with and these guys are, are more poised to see a winner out of this thing and they want to see uh, businesses thrive so that's what we're riding on that's what we're hoping to you know create a big venture out of yeah. you just seem to point to uh manager finally the previous winners do you have any idea the number of people they've employed so far um not entirely but then i know that the first runner up who's a draft and the medical doctor she, she has a quite a network she, she's got quite a business going for her. and i mean if i don't know I, i'm not sure i know the number of people per se but then i'm sure she's got people who retail and stuff like that she produces um um coats and scraps and she's got you know i, I think i saw her coats and scraps in 37 
which means she's 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 she's, she's breaking bounds. That's that's a good thing for us. Thank you very much for your time. You're, You're always welcome. <laughs> All right. So this is where we'll draw the curtain on today's interaction with the applicant of the Africa's Biggest Idea Challenge, organized by the Executive Council of the Student Representative Council of University of Cape Coast. If today happens to be the first time that you're watching us, then I would advise that you click on the subscribe button and you later hit on the notification bell to get alerts on our update. My name is Louise Bequen and of course you can call me the PDF. This is TVUCC. Keep watching TVUCC.